Well, today we're doing some mobile saw milling, and that pretty much means what it says. That's when you take your wood miser out mobile to a site like this, where the timber's already on the ground and ready to go, and saw it into lumber. And if you've been watching this channel for the past eight or nine months, most of the time when I'm cutting down trees, more specifically a lot of white oak timber, it was on this farm. So a lot of this timber we're sawing up is trees that I've previously cut down that's been on videos we've made before today. And it looks like we're gonna get some rain today, so this may be a pretty short video. I'm not sure they're giving out a chance of rain about lunchtime, so we'll try to get as much sawed up as we can. As far as what we're gonna be doing today, this first uh, white oak here on the mill is an eight footer. We're gonna be sawing it into two by six by eights for a corral here on the farm. Two 12 footers, which I'm gonna be probably sawing into two by tens, maybe two by twelves. I'm not made my mind up yet for our timber frame drying shed. And right behind it, I got a pretty nice eight footer that's clear on about three sides. And we'll be cutting that one into a quarter saw. And one last thing here before we get started. Uh, these other five timbers are, are really straight and they'll have a lot of issues when it comes to uh, sawing them up. This one right here has a problem, but this is how you solve it. As you can see, the, the timber does not touch the bed rail on the bottom. There's a considerable gap down there. So there is a sweep in the log. And there's two options here in what you can do when you run into a log like this. You can lay it flat on the bed, which I'd be turning at 90 degrees, and live saw it all the way down the middle. And that's how you're gonna get your most uh, timber out of the log. But it's gonna have a considerable sweep to it. And that's what, if that's what you're after, then it's no big deal. But that's not what we're after here. This is gonna be sawed into tuba sitches for a corral for a feeding lot they're making here on the farm. So we wanna get straight accurate boards here so what you want to do is position it like this and you want to saw off the hump or the back of it you want to take this down to where you get a flat straight surface on the back of it and that gets rid of this hump and you want to rotate it 180 degrees to its bottom and saw off the horns which are these parts that are touching the mill you call we call those the horns you saw the horns off and get that area flat and then you've pretty much taken the sweep out of the log and you've got a nice straight uh, piece of timber to work from. 